Apparently folks have a lot of love for unstoppable monsters. I mean, I prefer ones that I could conceivably put down myself, but I don't judge anyone for liking the tougher cases. After seeing how many folks were looking for additional monsters, it was time for some more impossible to defeat beasts and brutes. Another episode of the top five horror movie monsters that can't be stopped is heading your way. Let's do it. Coming in at number five, we've got the blob. Not only is this thing canonically indestructible, but you'll also never stop singing the theme song. How is it that horror movies didn't adopt the practice of kicking off their flick with an absolute banger of a tune? It creeps and leaps and glides and slides. Beware of the blob. What an earworm. That's the kind of song that makes you want to dance like one of the kids from Peanuts. But folks who saw it when it first arrived on the scene don't necessarily associate the song with merriment. It's now associated with a murderous, flesh-melting mass of goo. And now that we've got the song out of the way, let's talk about why the blob is so hard to stop. Literally hailing from outer space, this gelatinous creature will stop at nothing to take over the world as we know it. It starts small, but like the good little prince in Katamari, quickly gains size and momentum. It absorbs and melts pretty much any organic matter it comes into contact with, eventually becoming large enough to subsume just about anything. Had it been left unchecked for any longer than it was, it's unlikely that anyone would have survived. Thankfully, they were able to airlift the thing way out into the frosty expanse of the Arctic in time to save the world. Some quick thinking involving CO2 fire extinguishers allowed them to keep it dormant long enough to get it all the way out to the tundra. However, this did not kill the blob. Nothing can kill the blob. Instead, these sub-zero temperatures will keep the thing in check, preventing it from moving freely and growing, which seems like a pretty good deal, right? Well, even the characters know that it's not a perfect solution. Sure, it'll stay frozen as long as the Arctic stays cold, which, as we've witnessed over the past little while, might not be a guarantee. One last cheeky nod to climate disaster causing more trouble than you'd think appears when the end shows up. At first, it seems like the movie's just saying, here's the end, we're tying it up with a neat little bow. But the superimposed text then gets a question mark at the end. The end? Uh oh. So this thing can't be stopped by any known means and will only remain frozen for a limited amount of time. Good luck future people. Well, I suppose that's actually us at this point. Mm. Coming in at number four, we've got the Creeper from Jeepers Creepers. Before the word Creeper was more ubiquitously associated with an explosive green boxy lad, there was the Creeper. A strange and demonic monster with a hunger for flesh and a nose for fear. With a wicked rusty truck too. Oh, and it can fly. Man, this thing really does it all. Every 23rd spring, the Creeper re-emerges to hunt for 23 days. It seems like it shouldn't be too big of a deal, but those 23 days are hell. Especially when it seeks out specific organs that it needs to replace. See, the creeper is a humanoid, but has a very special ability. It can regenerate any body part it needs as long as it eats that part off a human. So if the creeper finds that its arm is acting up after 23 years, it can go and chop the arm off someone else and regenerate it, no problem. If it's finding that its heart could be ticking a little better, it's time to go tear somebody's cardio organ out. By constantly eating and killing, the creeper can hypothetically stay alive forever. And don't think you'll be able to stop it from eating you or anyone else. This thing is strong, crafty, and terrifying. It's supernaturally strong, and if you try to fight it one-on-one, -on -one, you're in for a bad time. Under that coat of his is a set of gigantic bat-like wings. Using these, it can fly as fast as an automobile that has enough power to pick up another adult human. It's even been seen partially lifting a truck while flying. Speaking of trucks, the Creeper has a whole array of weaponry and machinery at its disposal too, and the rusty, ridiculous truck is just the beginning. Add in a bunch of throwing daggers, shuriken made from bones, and a crazy axe that can slice through just about anything, and you've got a dangerous monster. So it's functional immortal if it can keep eating people and it can hunt down people with no problem. That sounds like an unstoppable monster to me. If only they did stop before making the third movie though. Coming in at number three, we've got Jason Voorhees from Friday the 13th. Among the many iconic slasher villains that have appeared over the years, this one stands out as particularly hard to stop. Jason Voorhees. Technically not a killer until the second movie, Jason had a troubled childhood. He was bullied and apparently drowned by the campers at Camp Crystal Lake, which caused his mother to become quite the maniac herself. But he did indeed survive and came back after his mother's death to enact revenge himself. Since then, he's killed over 150 people and counting through many, many different methods. There truly is no stopping him. Every time folks think they've figured out how to keep him down forever, a new, mystical, mysterious, and downright supernatural path seems to open up for the machete wielding hockey mask wearing mask killer. You just can't keep him down. Chain him to the bottom of the lake, he'll find a way out. Riddle him with bullets and then blow him up with a grenade. He'll make someone eat his heart and then take over their body. Put him in deep freeze and transport him to an outer space holding cell. 
Well, we all know what happens next. Jason is imbued with a lust for life most folks spend their whole lives looking for, and he uses it to keep coming back for more kills. It's pretty insane to think about all the different ways Jason has managed to make it back to the killing floor. Iconic is an understatement, and impossible to stop is just the beginning. There's really only one other killer who might be more ubiquitous, and that killer is coming up right now. At number two, we've got Freddy Krueger from Nightmare on Elm Street. The claw, the hat, the striped shirt, there is no mistake taking Freddy for anyone else. And more than any other killer going, he is impossible to stop. He doesn't have a true physical form, nor can he be tracked down by conventional methods. This movie monster makes his murderous moves in your dreams. How are you gonna take on a dude who can sneak into your head while you're sleeping? Many have tried to stop him, and many have failed. Take the first movie. Nancy thinks she's got the upper hand when she discovers that Freddy runs on fear. She calms down, and he disappears. Easy peasy. Well, not really. After all is said and done and everyone thinks they're safe, Freddy returns again. This time in the form of a hungry convertible and a pair of arms through a front window. Damn, Freddy. Then he returns for five more movies, a new nightmare, a big ticket fight with Jason, and a reboot. Freddy really and truly can't be stopped. It's in his DNA. After being burned alive by a bunch of angry parents, he decided to always be around to cause more trouble, to kill more people, and to be a general trickster nuisance. As long as folks need sleep and have fears, Freddy's here. One, two, Freddy's coming for you. Three, four, better lock your door. And finally at number one, we've got zombies. I'm not even gonna pick a specific movie to attribute zombies to. They're just so ubiquitous at this point. Zombies cannot be stopped. It's just the way it is. Once whatever virus or serum or military grade chemical is introduced to the world at large, humanity is screwed. You can learn to survive and live alongside the zombies, but there is no getting rid of them wholesale. If you blow up ground zero, the remnants will spread under the radar, causing a wider variety of undead zombies. If you go into hiding, somebody will inevitably forget to mention they got bit. If you try and fight them head on, more will show up and overwhelm you. Zombies are the ultimate unstoppable force and play at the fears closest to humanity's heart. They represent disease and plague, spreading and killing those we love. They represent the end times, whether biblical or man-made. They represent our fear of other people, especially those who might be violent and dangerous in ways we don't agree with. No matter how a movie approaches its zombies, they cannot be stopped. Whether they're fast or slow, intelligent or brain dead, they slowly creep their way into every part of our lives and destroy everything. And the worst part is, they're more or less just like us. Are you shaking in your boots? Or has your resolve to be the unmovable object in the way of an unstoppable force been reinforced? There are plenty of movie monsters out there, but these are some of the most insane. So, what'd you think of the list? Did some of these picks tickle your fancy? What's the movie monster you think about the most often? Make sure you let me know down in the comments. Speaking of comments, let's take a look at some of your more meticulous ones. From the top five horror movie monsters that can't be stopped, part one. Foolish Dingus says, number one should have been Kenny from South Park. Just saying. Kenny is more than a monster. He is a god among men. Therion Gilliland Jr. says, humans love revenge, eh? That's another thing I have in common with humans. Well, I'm glad you're finding some common ground with the common folk, but hold on. What are you? Mary Gen Beltran says, Tomy is indestructible, and if you chop her into pieces, each piece grows another Tomy. A fascinating monster for sure, but would you really classify her as a movie monster? Like, there is a movie, but I definitely associate her first with the manga. DB Fireman says, Does cats think in meows or human languages? But what does a giraffe sound like? I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say that cats don't think using language, and with giraffes, I'm gonna let Google answer that one. And Adam Sundberg says, Revenge does end. Just say you killed my and I'll kill your. Now we're even. It's that easy, people. Sure it is, Adam. Sure it is. And that's all the time we have for today. I'm gonna go ice fishing in the rain. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.